I'm at the same baseball diamond I was at the other day when I, uh, or not the other day, earlier today, when I told you about why I bought a school bus. That video got to be way too long because I'm a mouthy guy and I keep talking and chatting. But this one's going to be short. Why I became a nomad. I used to live in Vancouver in a very small apartment. Um, it was called single occupancy. I sh we, some of us, the people on the same floor shared a bathroom and a shower. Otherwise, I had a bedroom with shared facilities. That cost me uh, $550 a month for a very small room of basically 110 square feet or so. So I was sitting in my room on a rainy day, on lots of rainy days in Vancouver. On lots of rainy days, I was sitting in my room watching videos on YouTube. Then I discovered people traveling around. It's not something that I actually considered before watching the videos. Then I started to realize that I could do that. I would just have to save up some money to buy a vehicle. So I began to save some money. Now, part of the reason I wanted to do this is that I would get out from having this rent. I would not feel anchored to one specific spot. I would be able to travel, even though perhaps I could have flown off to somewhere and kept my apartment. It made no sense to me. I'm a photographer. I photograph people outside. I can't photograph people outside. Seriously, can't do a lot of it in the wintertime in Vancouver. Uh, it's unusual to be able to organize dates for two people anyway. A lot of people keep themselves very busy. So if I was in a warm spot with nice beaches, I'd be able to continue my photography. Now, how could I fly down to Mexico and hang out there and pay my apartment rent? How could I come down to California, pay my apartment rent and live here? Not on my income. I'm a retired guy with a pension. And so I decided, well, if I buy a vehicle, start to drive around, I can drive to where the beaches are. I can drive to where the clients are. And I can offer my services in the pro proper location at the right time of year. Pretty simple. So I saved up and I bought my bus. Now I travel around, try to keep, keep myself warm, but the primary purpose, what the original purpose was to shoot people on beaches and in forests, etc., wherever it is nice and warm. Now, strangely enough, those people that want my kind of photos live in the cities. So I end up in LA. That's where I'm going to get the most business or the most, oper the, the most, the larger number of opportunities. Then I can travel up and down the coast and when I'm traveling through Portland or traveling through San Francisco, I may be able to do that at a time of year when there is good weather. I may be able to just have to drive back to Vancouver and wait until the weather gets great. But I'm going to spend a lot more of my time in areas where my photography services will be desired and actually utilized. So that's why I'm in a bus and you will see some of these photo shoots when they take place. But because I'm traveling in the manner that I do, it's very hard for me to schedule sessions on days that I'm free and my client is free. It's very unusual for me to simply contact somebody and say, do you want to go to the beach tomorrow? Because they're busy. So often they've got two or three weeks. They can't set up a date for three weeks. And I might no longer be there. So it's not like I just drive to LA and every day I do a photo shoot. It's like I drive to LA, start, I'm now here, so I now can work on setting up these photo shoots. And that will cause me from LA to go to San Diego, so I try to set up a few while I'm down there. Then I'll come back to Venice Beach perhaps, set up a few while I'm in Venice Beach, 
then I will start to travel north and try to set up some on my way north. But it still won't be more than maximum three a week. And I might have to actually stay longer in some locations in order to do that. Therefore, I spend less of my time in the wilderness and more of my time at highway side, you know, what do you call it? Road stops, more or less on the highway. But the way I travel, if I keep traveling along the less used roads, I'll be able to bring you lots of interesting content besides the photo shoots. So, short story, I don't pay, I bought my vehicle, became a nomad because it's better for my uh, profession slash hobby. I used to be a professional photographer, but I wouldn't say I am now because it's more of a hobby at the present time. It's not something that uh, generates enough to live on anymore. The reason for that it doesn't generate enough to live on anymore is that there's less demand for my phone. Short story, wanted to make it as short as possible. I live in my motorhome or my bus conversion to a motorhome because it's cheaper. Cheaper to accomplish the tasks that I want to do, which did require me to be mobile. So have a good day. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, if you want to join me for my photo shoots or my travel experiences, subscribe and click that bell. That bell will tell you when I upload another video. So this is a single clip. I've never done this before. Stood in one place, simply talked. But today I thought I could do it and gave it a try. Have a good day, just like mine. I'll see you tomorrow.